Hello guys, hi, this is Ganesh Nayak. I help students perform very well in all of the exams like CFA, SCR and FRM. I also help and guide students to make them better in their career. In today's interview, we're going to be talking about one of my students who has been able to clear the SCR exam in the October 2023 attempt. And he's going to be talking about his journey, what challenges he faced and how he was able to manage and conquer the exam. So, uh, Sandeep, thank you very much for taking out time and talking to us. And if you can give a brief to the audience about what you're doing and what is the total experience that you have and what is your current location? Thanks. Thanks, uh, Dinesh, for um, having me for this uh, uh, sort of interview or uh, webcast. Um, happy to share my experience. Uh, I've been in the industry for more than 20 years with a mix of banking, uh, insurance, IT, and retail uh, background. And uh, over the last couple of years, uh, Having reached a certain level in my career, I thought that uh, it would be good to sort of explore something new uh, and exciting, mm -hmm. uh, which has potential to grow. And I thought sustainability was a good thing that will uh, that will help me understand what are the major challenges because that's something that I care about the planet. So having a comprehensive experience and then putting my own experience and background in data analytics um, and industry, I thought I could I could uh, give a meaningful contribution. So that was my sort of my thought process. And I started kind of get dwelling to sustainability seriously uh, from last November. So almost a okay. year back. And uh, then was hunting for which certifications or courses should I take to bolster my credentials. And I landed, I thought it was just ESG versus SCR uh, and uh, what are the different uh, pros and cons and thought SCR was more meaningful for my uh, for my background uh, because it dwells uh, it takes you deeper into uh, the science behind climate change and mm -hmm. other sustainability issues which were uh, which are uh, which are being discussed now okay and so you gave the first attempt in april okay and you could not clear so what 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 happened in that attempt or what what is your learning from that attempt well to be very frank i kind of rusted around the edges I had not given uh, a competitive exam for almost uh, a decade plus. Okay. Uh, so it seemed that uh, I was trying to do something on my own without uh, proper uh, preparation. I was preparing, but I was, I kind of uh, subscribed to the SCR uh, material as well as uh, read the whole uh, sort of the material once, uh, uh, which did not make any sense to me. Uh, because it, the material is kind of dense in the mm -hmm. first read itself and you need to know how to connect the dots that each of the eight chapters had too much uh, theory in it mm -hmm. and to remember or at least connect it with real examples was a challenge because they were not they were examples in the material but really they were there was not many questions uh, that we, one could prepare so okay and i started uh, i remember for my april prep uh, in march um, and uh, was uh, reading uh, so all this material over time and trying to make some notes. Mm -hmm. I still wasn't very comfortable when I went to the exam. And, and that's that's when I think uh, I said, uh, okay, this doesn't feel good. And I needed to actually uh, have a different approach. Okay. And so you did not solve any question bank when you appeared for the April attempt. It's, it was only... Well, yeah, that's the back, the, the questions at the back of each of the chapters of the eight chapters okay. and the mock exam that uh, uh, GARP itself had provided. That was pretty okay. much it. There was no other uh, material that I had used to prepare. Okay, okay, got it. And uh, then when you started out for the next attempt, which is the October attempt, when did you uh, started the preparation again and when did you join us? I believe I joined uh, again. I actually was debating whether I should really do it because it seemed that okay. I may be out of league uh, and uh, maybe it's too tough and uh, and I was trying, planning to give it up. But I thought like maybe uh, there was a couple of considerations. One, let's give it another attempt not to, um, to uh, you know, the cha to challenge myself. And secondly, if you give the attempt in the same calendar year or the same cycle, you have a discount coming up from right. the so Otherwise, the cost increases in the next cycle. Yeah. So those were the three attempts, and then I said, okay, I I was searching and uh, I was searching in Garp's uh, own website. They had a lot of providers who were actually uh, 
uh, providing uh, preparation services. And uh, I, I landed with you guys at CR uh, Intelligence to see because um, I've heard a lot about, you know, uh, prep schools, but uh, I, I again, the, I read, I saw your videos and I thought it was look like a kind of a good place to start. And uh, I think, uh, again, there was no, I didn't have any recommendations, so I took a chance. So I guess uh, that was okay. uh, that was my uh, thing, and I think that was a, a good choice. Okay, and then so you started which month, roughly, if you remember? I started end of August. August, uh, okay. I enrolled in, in the end of August, forcing myself. Uh, like the inertia was huge because I was working and I had a new job, and therefore uh, I thought I should spend more time with the new job versus uh, doing this on the side. Hmm. Obviously, other responsibilities are there. So it wasn't easy uh, to get myself to uh, uh, to this. So I registered for GAR for this GAR uh, exam first. So to force myself to start preparing, and then I enrolled with you guys. I I was I, yeah. because I didn't uh, uh, didn't want to get, do the other way around to say okay let me prep and because that would force me to actually study. Yes. Uh, so that was the uh, so end of August I started uh, with the enrollment, uh, but. No. Okay. And when did you started your proper preparation? So you started August immediately when you joined us? No, that obviously that the, uh, enrolling is easy. Yeah, you know, that that's just one <laughs> stroke of a key, a few key strokes, I would say. Uh, but then after uh after a week or so, I said, okay, I'm spending all this money, effort, and all that, and let me start with the videos itself because I'd read the material already from my first attempt. So I didn't want to go into the book itself uh, or the material, uh, the theory itself and say, okay, let me just go uh, with your videos, actually. Okay. Okay. And then uh, what was the approach and how much time you were giving on a each single day? Yeah, so uh, the approach was actually initially, and I thought, thought I'd approach it differently. I wanted to be disciplined. And I wanted to be smarter on this side, not to put too much time and not to uh, like, uh, because I didn't have too much time anyway. And uh, no, and not to sort of say, I want to, uh, uh, you know, remember everything that's on the concepts and everything, because that that to me, um, uh, I was uh, not a good uh, return on my time. And okay. therefore I, I actually, when I looked at your material, I said, look, this sounds, this is kind of perfect in the sense you're looking at the book, you are uh, talking about the book, but you're explaining the concepts and then testing us. So I think those, uh, I said, okay, I now understand it better. What I had read earlier, because uh, previously my context was not there. Okay. Then connecting the dots. Uh, and again, I, I you could do it all by yourself if you read it, if you read the material 10 times. Mm. I think that's probably uh, what Garp wants you to do. I don't know. But okay. uh, you, you need to be very familiar with the material uh, and right. you could do it yourself or you could take uh, help from, some, from someone like your agency mm -hmm. uh, and kind of uh, guide, get a guided uh, sort of uh, methodology and get tested. The testing was good. Uh, each, of the, each of the questions and then the mock tests as well as the uh, other quizzes that were there. Uh, and uh, the community feeling was there to say that, you know, uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, social media sort of uh, uh, inputs uh, in, through the Telegram channel and all that, that we, uh, that was pretty interactive. Right, right. And uh, which chapter you felt that this is slightly problematic for me when you're reading and slightly creating an issue? So, yeah, I think... Uh, when you start, it's like uh, it starts easy, and uh, you, you sort of builds on to uh, more complex stuff. Yeah. Uh, pretty much fast, pretty fast actually builds into complex stuff, and then you're like, uh, oh, do you need to be a climate scientist for this, or do you <laughs> really want to be a doctor or a PhD or something? And I think uh, that would be good, uh, and I'm sure uh, they would find this easier. But for common uh, layman people like myself who don't have that background uh, how do you uh sort of uh, make it more practical uh and sort of connect it to what's happening around you uh you read so much news on climate change and what's going on with net zero and uh the paris agreement and the, all those uh big big uh, names and that it's sort of uh 
turns off a lot of people, I think, at this point. But right. uh, uh, but but the the when you read through that material, I think uh, it it was great to understand, and you could logically see why the chapters were put in that order. Because for my first uh, my my first struggle was always been why is now they are now they are talking about you know climate change, then they are talking about sustainability, then the climate change risk. Which mm -hmm. then I started thinking, okay, risk is because climate change has a risk, and how does risk flow into the financial system and yes. other systems? So that those things then I started getting into. So yes, the chapters six and seven, um, actually five and six, more on the sustainable finance um, and the risk measurement stuff uh, were challenging. I think uh, there you might want to spend more time. Uh, to to sort of uh, understand the concepts. Uh, and, and I think the book is okay or the material is okay, but uh, it would be good if there are more applied examples because the exam itself, uh, I know we get into that later, itself had a lot of application-based questions. It wasn't like, you know, they're talking uh, talking about straight theory questions or testing right. you on what is uh, what is uh, sustainability linked loans or such a sustainability bonds or something they're not talking about that where do you use right. them is something that uh, becomes uh, more uh, uh, relevant there okay perfect so now when you when you were solving the question bank uh, the mock papers what was the average score you were getting in those mocks i i think i scored pretty well actually uh, i was uh, and that boosted my confidence actually uh, so I would say, I think the score was one thing, but there was a percentile number actually to say that, okay, uh, you know, 80 percentile, that means you are better than 80% uh, of the people are below you. So, yes. uh, so, so sort of uh, help me measure against, because it's more a comparative scale, I guess. Yes. Uh, then, then the actual score, I believe that's what GARP uh, sort of uh, normalizes. Mm. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Is that, yes, is yes, that yes, true? that's correct. It's a comparative yeah. result. But out of 80, any specific number that you were getting, correct? Uh, I think one uh, one was one of them was a little bit of a disaster. The other two, I did score 60 plus, I guess. Okay. Uh, six, 56, 60, yeah. And one was actually, the fourth one I did very late and it was like literally, uh, I think, uh, uh, I didn't wouldn't count that the third because I didn't have time. Okay, got it, got it. And then when you went to the actual exam, what was the confidence level and comparing it with the previous exam? Yeah, to me, I think I was nervous or anything. I, I didn't have those jitters because it's, you know, uh, given so many exams before, so it's been around a lot. So for okay. me, it was more, uh, uh, confidence was there. I said, look, this is make or break. And after this, I'm not going to uh, make another attempt because then maybe I'll do something else, uh, mm -hmm. some other approach uh, or do some other uh, kind of studies in that uh, so confidence was uh, was okay I think uh, it was a uh, make or break situation for me uh, and I said okay fine I will give it a best shot and uh, now I, I would uh, I wouldn't at this stage in my life I'm not going to say that I'm, I was overconfident or it's like real, reality is what you are and uh, that's where uh, that's where I think uh, it was. It was uh, where, where where my uh, thoughts were. Okay. Okay. And uh, when you started the exam, how was the first half an hour, one hour? Yeah, that was interesting. Actually, uh, you know, I the um, and having given it the first time, I said uh, I know there will be some calculation questions which I can breeze through, uh, in terms of the you know. Uh, uh, they, there are a couple of things that they test you on the quantitative side. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and so I thought I, uh, that's mostly towards the end. Mm -hmm. And they have typically three questions or a few questions uh, in that um, uh, in, in, in that topic. Uh, but uh, I think the, the, the time management was uh, actually uh, was a little bit uh, initially I spent a lot of time in the first 10 questions actually. And okay. they were, and they were tough. Actually, I, I at least for me it was they were tough. And I'm like, wow, man, this is. I don't think I'm getting anywhere with the second attempt here. <laughs> uh, uh, but but I I, I did my best uh, in the sense of what what was uh, what was the the preparation material that uh, that was given. 
um, to say, okay, uh, this is my best shot. And process of elimination always works. Um, that uh, that I, I think you often uh, kind of uh, uh, told us on the on the thing that the elimination is kind of where you want to uh, uh, do if you don't know the answer right away. And if you uh, if you know the answer, and so some questions after the first ten, and I uh, uh, panic didn't set in. I said, look, I'm going to speed up somewhere. Uh, so the first ten questions I did uh, take some time, and I'm, and I was like, this three hours actually. So three hours should be good enough for eighty questions actually. Right. Not, uh, their gut is not uh, trying to test you under pressure. They try to see uh, how you apply it. Obviously, they don't give you a whole day or something to do the exam. Uh, okay. But uh, three hours is sufficient time uh, to do it uh, uh, because it's complex as it's complex. You can read it five times and you still find it complex. Uh, okay. There's uh, nothing more, nothing less to that. So, yeah, I think. Uh, and after that, kind of, uh, I went kind of uh, first 20 questions and then I back, uh, went to the last 21st and then kind of sort of started from the back. So okay. that was my kind of trick to uh, see if I can do maybe the questions at the end were easier. So uh, I would, uh, so I made up on the time. Uh, it still was, uh, it still was actually 80 minutes, uh, sorry, 80 questions, three hours went away in a breeze. Okay. And at an overall level, if I look at the 80 questions, how many questions do you feel were very easy, were medium or very difficult? So if you can give us a brief bifurcation on that. 20, 25 questions would be, you would know the direct answer whether um, because they were easy or because they had, you had probably uh, uh, reviewed them in the prep material okay so that that would uh, that would sort of take away those questions and you were confident on that mm -hmm. the medium ones were uh, some things i would say another uh, 30 questions i would say okay and those, then those 25 questions you would say or literally tough and I mark them for review later. So that if I mm. want to go back uh, and uh, change my answers, which I actually did for um, 10 of those questions, I actually changed my answer. Okay. Which makes me believe that if I did not do the change, maybe I would not have passed. Uh, okay. Because they were those questions which I was literally very... Uh, skeptical about actually so you do, you got to do those review uh, the, there's a review flag that uh, yeah. you can put some of the questions so those are important for uh, you to uh, mark and um, maybe go back uh, and read a few times and see whether uh, you want to change your answer okay okay and option elimination also you have used extensively during the entire um, yeah exam. that 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 definitely that was definitely the uh, i think the most of the multiple choice uh, you need to do that. I think that's that's a given. Okay. Okay. Now, when you uh, went to the came out of the exam, so what was the confidence level? Will you clear? Will you not clear? What was that? So this is an interesting part. I said maybe I found it difficult, and then if everybody else finds it easy, then relatively speaking, I might be out. I may yes. not uh, get in. But I think the questions were fairly difficult. So where, what was the exact markings? I obviously they don't tell you the they don't tell your score, but it would pro and again I don't know the pass rates or pass percentages as well. It's kind of uh, anecdotal, but um, I was like, okay, this is it. That's <laughs> fine, charge. So <laughs> um, I get in, I get it, I get out, uh, and um, yeah, I I guess. Uh, the, the rest is history in terms of uh, getting through and uh, yeah to be honest I think uh, uh, I, I said look this is my best shot the last one was not my best shot okay. but this is my best shot and if the if the best shot works then so be it and I, as I said before I think the materials that you gave uh, gave me confidence uh, it's uh, but I was being realistic to say okay you know this is all this is my mental capacity this is all i can right. do this is the time i have now obviously the results are out you have cleared the exam if i ask you three tips from your experience of how to prepare for this exam so what would that be i believe i think uh, important to be disciplined 
even if you have very little time, you got to have a strategy and be disciplined because I literally, between my work and family kind of uh, commitments, I had literally one to two hours daily uh, okay. in, in the night uh, after after all the uh, after all the uh, you know the, uh, everything was settled. Uh, so that that you need to actually be serious about, and uh, it, it doesn't need uh, full hours and hours. Uh, if you are disciplined for the four uh, or five six weeks. Uh, you can spread out the pain if you want to call it that. But if you are going to say, okay, I'm going to wait for the last three weeks. Uh, first of all, how much can you absorb in those three weeks and how That's much time true. you have you to spend full time on that? Hmm. I don't know whether that strategy would work. It used to work in the college time when we were doing overnight studies uh, just before the exam. Uh, this one, I don't recommend doing that because that means a lot of theory just slapped onto your head and very, uh, you will not have practice time. But right. again, this is I'm speaking for myself. Uh, so that 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 I think that's tip number one to be disciplined uh, regularly if you're doing it. Second, I think I had already made some notes before in my first attempt, and so kind of enhance my own notes. Uh, okay. to go through them. Uh, say a night or two before. Okay. Uh, to see the some of the main uh, concepts uh, and confusing areas rather. Right. And then third, I think. What you learn from getting those correct is actually less than what you learn from your mistakes. Okay. So important for uh, me to actually review the question through the uh, through the question bank or the uh, the material that you guys had to review the ones which I had uh, uh, not marked correct uh, because those were the ones which I I didn't obviously get them right the first time so i wanted to review those questions which were uh, which i had gotten wrong in the first attempt okay okay the, those are the three i uh, think probably three most important that's what i did okay perfect perfect so thank you sandeep i mean thank you very much for talking to us and giving your perspective of clearing the exam the challenges that you faced and how you were able to manage the difficult chapters so definitely this interview is going to be very helpful for a lot of students who are preparing for the exam now so thank you very much once again and thank you for taking out time.